just now driving home. I had a very amazing evening doing some readings. Oh, how amazing. And it's not that I made a lot of money as much as um, I did. I did what I was supposed to do and someone tipped me 10 bucks. And man, it felt really good. And it made me feel really valued. And it was just really nice to be valued. Uh, I kept seeing a lot of girls that reminded me of my now ex-girlfriend, I guess I have to call her. I'm just like so heartbroken. Because as you can see from like the footage, like... It was nice to have somebody there, you know, to hold your hand and to do stuff. But frankly, like, the lovey-doveyness was just a distraction from, like, my authentic healing that I'm supposed to be doing. No offense, like, I would absolutely much rather, obviously, yeah, be making love and holding hands and getting flowers and building a home with somebody and all of those things. I would much rather be doing than work on myself, right? And then do all that stuff. The reality is exactly like. Uh, I'm becoming very humble and grateful. Though it came from my sufferings. I'm very happy with what I did tonight. There was a lot of people that only paid the $5. And I'm supposed to keep it to one card. Although, like, I'm doing what spirit tells me to kind of thing. You know? I'm allowing God to work through me. And that I work for God. I used to be really ashamed of mentioning God. And that recently is coming up now, too. I learned that I'm not supposed to dishonor it. I need to go see some friends soon. I'm really nervous about doing so. And I'm not sure when the right time will be to do so. Perhaps around Thanksgiving or something. I'm very tired. It's nearly 1 o'clock in the morning. And, like, I would like to mention how my soul is tired. Ah. I loved Sarah very much. However, I could never escape the fact how much I still love Zachary. I never got over him. And honestly, I, like, exactly, like, soul and body is like, I'll never get over him. <laughs> you know, my soul and body really identified with him as being the one that I meant to have kids with. And then when Sarah came to the picture, I did totally have thoughts, like, yeah, Zach isn't really as sexual as Sarah is. And so I would have the best of both worlds was the fantasy, and I would get my kids, and exactly, Zach would eventually come around. Like, that was the fantasy. But where it seemed like I could have both until, like, man, things got ugly. And I just don't know if I, I don't, I can't handle that. You know that saying that exactly, like, if you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best? There's some truth to that. And frankly, like, in some levels, just, like, some, like, I just, it's just, you shouldn't put that responsibility on someone else that they have to fucking deal with you when you're at your worst level. Like, I did my part. I led you to the path of healing. And, like, please continue the journey without me so we can be together, like, even as friends or in some type of harmony. Instead of shooting yourself in the foot, considering your healing associated with me. You know what I'm saying? It has nothing to do with me. It's about you. All I did was help you find your answers. I love you. I'm in it with you. I made the same mistakes where I love the people that healed me. And maybe that's part of the reason why I strongly love Zach, because Zach showed me Zen. Zach always called me out. Oh man, I don't know though. I mean, we could, I could try to play it down. I could play it down mad hard. But my soul swears something, man, that's connected to this person on another level. And like, it seems like my soul is just committed to this person on some type of level that I can't deny. And I really desire to be with this person. However, I have another, I have other stuff going on, if that makes sense. Other kinds.
contracts that I have to break. There's all kinds of things going on. I'm thinking maybe three months after his birthday that things will come full circle as they're supposed to and he'll have like a major awakening of the self at his own will and choice, of course. The teacher will present itself when the student is ready. Sometimes I'm the teacher presenting itself to the student who's ready, but the student's not really ready for the lessons yet, but at least you got introduced to the teacher and you know where you need to go. You need to listen to your intuition when it's calling you to go places and telling you to do stuff. It is very important for me to help the homeless. If I ever come across a large deed of money, I kid you not, I have a lot to give. You may think that I am having a lot. The truth is, I do not hold anything. I am not the dragon that sits on gold. I am going to let things go. Because I have things to give away. I am not so hooked on the material world. I do not resonate much with the material world. Although, this is the world that I am here in now. And I am here to create. And I am here to show you a whole new shade of light. And another way that you can create. And another way to look at the side of the sword that you're fighting for. I just want to thank God right now is what I keep wanting to do. I'm just so humbled. Everything I asked for, the universe has given me. I asked for signs. I asked for help with my language. I am being guided divinely to my authentic self as I step into my own self and give myself permission and don't walk on eggshells. So the huge reason that tore me and Zachary up is constantly how much he tore me apart in my spirituality. And he made a point that was very true that how if it was really true, the more you picked apart, the more it would shine true. Okay? So sometimes there's only so much spirit can take, you know? And like, I just freaked out on him. And it's just like, I just, it's not, it's up to him to find his own answers. And like, it's complicated. And so I had to kind of like break away. And he, he was protecting me from him. And I love him for that. And he was very real with me. And I am very thankful for him. And I love him very much. And I always will. And I say that now on the record. For any future husband or wife. This man Zachary man. He's your. He's your trouble. <laughs> that joke man. I'm not trying. I don't want anyone to wish harm upon Zachary. Because they have their greedy motives of owning me. That is not love. Zach gave me freedom to be me. And frankly, it's like we're still together, even though we don't talk all the time. The love is still there. I feel like he might need me right now, and I would love to reach out, though I'm excessively shy. I just know that he's sick, and he doesn't feel very good. Oh, and you know, since I love him, I just want to lift him up and make him feel better. And I feel the same way about Sarah, when she's all hurt and broken. But sometimes these people, you know, you gotta let them fall on their own swords. Like, they created their own situations they acted that way that made you act that way but which made the circumstances as they are right now as it was meant to be there is only a proper sequence there is never a good or bad or wrong or right it's just a matter of proper sequence you have to remain patient some of you have been beyond patient very loving and accepting and honoring I have been struggling to honor and accept myself. I'm working on loving me more and more every day. I'm about to take a salt bath. I cannot push the stress of that to you. If you have money, pay for yourself to go have a float tank spa, aka deprivation tank experience. I strongly encourage you that. If I have one wish I put out to the universe, I really want my own property, my own peace that no one can take away from me. And the museum is offering me an opportunity I need fifteen thousand dollars right now, man. Fifteen thousand I don't really have. I'm putting things out to the universe and seeing what happens for me. I'm not sure where things are going. 
I just know the way I'd like them to go. And the peace and serenity that I'm looking for. I require a lot of help and I got a lot of loose ends to tie up. January is a whole new year though. I know that there's people out there that can help me. My problem is I don't ever like to ask for help or to let anyone know that I'm suffering and I'm in need or I'm hungry or whatever issue I'm going through. I never like anyone to know how much I hurt. Truth is I hurt a lot. And I have a lot of fears. And I need protection. And you could say security blankets or cushions. I need some help. What you can afford to give is your boundaries. Just attempt to not better others at your expense. Do not help other people while also hurting yourself if you can't afford it. But if you have millions and millions of dollars that you can afford to lose $15,000, then please listen to your intuition and help someone out when they ask for it. And do not judge what they are going to do with it. Trust in people and give them the power to create and to share the wealth that you had come to know because it didn't make you feel good to have all of that. So share and show the world how much you care. And show how much money means nothing and how loyalty and honesty and people that will die for you cannot be bought. It is an energetic level that is comes from the heart. My heart is so big no matter how much I have been hurt and broken. It still remains so big. It's almost like the more it hurts the bigger it becomes. <sighs> That's enlightening. I just want to be the big arms that everyone can run to. Sometimes I wish I had all the money in the world so that I could distribute it to make sure that everyone was fed and nourished and everyone had their proper healthy space and that everyone knew the truth and their truth and could have the space to know what's going on. We gotta break free of this matrix. And you gotta, basically the way that that is, is you gotta stop letting the material own you. Stop getting so hooked up on people, things, items, experiences, feelings, anything that's in the body. The things when you close your eyes and that you feel. Oh, it's complicated. I know those are in the body, okay? I'm struggling to give language to what I'm trying to say. Some of you can really feel me and just understand it's the song that only you can hear. And those of you that can hear the messages that I'm here to share with you now, I need you to share what you have learned and to share your own true voice because the world needs to hear you. We have gone silent for so long, which is why things have gotten so bad.